Hi boaters, my name is Vivian Matuk. I'm the Environmental Boating Program Manager for both the California State Parks and the California Coastal Commission. Happy Earth Month! Today you can start at home implementing some clean boating practices to honor the earth and be ready to go when we are allowed to start boating. The first recommendation I want to give you is to make sure you have our California free uh, boater kit. This is a great packet of clean and safe boating information that will support your clean boating practices, including uh, our fuel bib, it also has the oil absorbent and a great publications such as the ABCs of Boating Law. In order for you to get access to this particular boater kit, make sure you visit this particular link, fill out our questionnaire that will help us to better orient our education and outreach efforts, and then give us your information so we will be able to send you the boater kit. Keep in mind we have limited resources, so make sure that after you watch this video, you go and get uh, the questionnaire so we can uh, give you the voter key. In addition, this time of the year, and now that we are sheltering in place, is a great opportunity for us to refresh our memory about clean boating practices we need to implement to protect the environment. The first one to prevent oil and fuel discharges from getting overboard is mainly to practice preventive engine maintenance. That particular practice should be used with uh, the use of oil absorbents. Oil absorbents absorb oil and repel water, that means they are hydrophobic. They can be found in the market at your local marine supply store, for example, or order them online. If you order our boater kit, you will get two uh, of the oil absorbents, including the one that is called the pillow and the sheet. You can also find in the market the uh, oil absorbent uh, sock that is to reach deep compartments. These absorbents uh, can be used directly into the bilge uh, under the engine when you're changing your oil, when you're filling up your tank, uh, or in case of an accidental spill. Even if you have a brand new boat or your bilge is impeccable, it's always important to carry absorbent in case of an accidental spill. If you use them directly into the bilge, make sure that you uh, secure them by using this fabric loop and this releasable zip tie so it doesn't clog or foul your bilge sensor or your bilge pump. Once they are fully saturated, don't put them in the trash because they are hazardous waste. What you have to do uh, are different options. First of all, use your gloves to remove them, put it in a container or a bag, and ask your marina if they have this service, what we call the oil absorbent exchange program, where they distribute and or collect absorbents. If they don't do that, or the near marinas don't do that, make sure that depending on the area where you are, you check your Northern California tide book in the back. We have tables uh, by county with some of the marinas and the services they offer to boaters. If you receive the Southern California uh, uh, tide book, they have instead of charts, uh, maps of the harbor showing the actual uh, services for boaters. But if you don't have marinas with that service in your region, what you can always do is go to your county household hazardous waste collection center. You can browse uh, that information and then uh, locate your specific county household hazardous waste collection center. Also remember not to use soaps if there's a spill on the water because it is illegal, it harms the environment, and it will impact the mechanical function of the absorbent if you are using one and it will render it uh, as ineffective. I wanted to quickly show you how the absorbents uh, work. I know a lot of you probably haven't seen how they work. I have created here a spill where you see the both uh, densities, uh, the oil floating on top of the water and this is a piece of the oil absorbent sheet. You can see how the absorbents work really fast absorbing uh, the oil. This is a great demo and I'm going to show you the fact that using soaps is not good uh, because it's illegal, harms the environment, and also impacts the mechanical function of the absorbent. As you can see here, and I'm going just to get closer to you, after a little bit of time, then we can see how uh, the uh, oil is moving back into the environment, and after a while, the absorbent is going to start falling into pieces. So that's not a very good uh, practice. Make sure that you also report any spill on the water by uh, contacting the National Response Center and also the Office of Emergency Sur uh, Response. That information is found in several items of your boater kit, for example, including in the back of your boater kit. Again, if you want to uh, have access to our boater kit, make sure that you go to the link 
um, after you're wa done watching this video. And for more clean boating information, visit our website at boatingcleanandgreen.com. Thank you for watching and happy Earth Month.